Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in a new research study to find out why. To join, please visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. Number one. Just before the House version of the Biden stimulus plan passed with the wage hike in place, the Senate parliamentarian ruled that the increase to $15 per hour did not meet a strict set of guidelines needed to move forward in a Senate bill. Progressive Democrats are pushing for Vice President Kamala Harris to use her authority as presiding officer of the Senate to overrule the parliamentarian's decision. And they are promising if a $15 an hour minimum wage bill is not passed, Democrats will lose in 2022. That's next year's midterm elections. Number two, today the United States Supreme Court will hear oral arguments on two election laws in the battleground state of Arizona. Arizona Republicans argue that one rule change tossing out of precinct ballots is intended to prevent multiple voting. But state Democrats say the state has a history of switching polling places more often in minority neighborhoods. The Supreme Court will issue its ruling by the summer. Number three, Top health officials are expressing concern that the steady decline in new COVID-19 cases appears to have plateaued, signaling that new, more transmissible strains are spreading. The warning comes from health officials as the U.S. reports more than 2,400 cases of coronavirus variants that were first spotted in the United Kingdom, South Africa, and Brazil. More than 76,000 cases were reported on Saturday, even as hospitalizations continue to drop. Number four. A teacher in Edmond, Oklahoma, is on paid administrative leave pending an investigation after mocking Latrell Taft, a 13-year-old African-American student in her science class. Latrell, who wore a T-shirt with the words Black King on it, was told by the teacher that if his T-shirt said White Queen, it would have been racist. Edmond Public Schools released a statement saying they are aware of the situation and they are conducting an investigation for the student. Number five, if there is anything synonymous with making bread, it's investments made by black celebrities across sports and music and a very popular franchise like Wienstop. Now the minority-owned private equity and consulting firm Corlex Capital is partnering with Prospect Capital Restaurants to acquire 10 Wingstop locations. The average Wingstop location brings in $1.2 million annually. That's according to Forbes. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. The most valuable gift you can give is the gift of self-care. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Sherry Shepard, Pat Bailey, and Dr. Lee Johnson for a special live stream dedicated to Alzheimer's research in the black community. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered. 